stations. It is still day one of the ADSFR Alabama Deep Sea Fishing Radio. We got rained out this morning. Decided to come on close to home and just try for some flounder. Hit the trout again in the morning. Maybe I can pull another monster out, who knows? First fish, y'all. Little flatty. Y'all watch, guys. You just get right up next to it. Bam. I'm just working down it all the way around. If you get with the current, you can kind of just let it ease you right along with it and just work your rudder. Try to stay right on the edge of it. That way you're pulling parallel with the bank. Should be a flounder right in here. This looks like it should have a flounder written all over it. Got a little bowl here. Got a little creek behind me. It's got that old soft silt that flushes out of there. Makes a soft bottom for flounder to lay up and bury. You get out of there, come on now. So when you flirt with the grass, you'll get in it sometimes. And then you'll lay right on it like that. And you're casting, and if it looks like it's gonna go to the grass, stop it with your finger. Stop that line, put the brakes on it. Well, you ain't fishing no lure out of the grass. Them. I just had to put the head cam on. I had it put up because it rained. This is like number five. Is our 
dirty boxer. Another nice flounder. Probably sitting at 17, 18. He's going in the box. Days. Six trout, five reds, four flounder. They're all light. Most of my trout have spawned out, so their weight has reduced dramatically. Uh, flounder look big. 18 and a half and it was 2.55 so I guess that's big for an 18 but right now they're sitting with a five pound flounder up top and that's a good one that's a 24 and a half inch flounder it has to be well, they stuffed rocks now in this belly Got a big six pound trout, I think, for lunker. And I usually find lunkers and I can't find crap. But slots. It is lousy weather. Although a lot of this wind and roughing up water gets the bite pretty fired up. Guys, good spec. Might be red. Woohoo! He just found out he's hooked. Good red, y'all. Good red on the mirror, Dean. I stuck with it. 
just stuck with it it wasn't oh my gosh there's reds up there chasing bait everywhere all right we may be in a good spot i was right this bait's getting pushed off this flat Come on, baby. Oh, yeah, you're going to run some more, huh? Please be perfect. 25 and 3 quarters. This is a good rig, got some big head shakes. I think it's a good slot. As long as he weighs, this might get us a red if he stays under 20 cents. Don't feel like a bull. Feels like he's what I'm looking for. He came up yet either. Gotta be a red. Biggest damn trout run I've ever had. Got a lot of weight. perfect y'all he looks perfect Y 
y'all. That's gonna wrap it up for this morning. Let this wind lay down. Give me some rest. I'll come on back for the afternoon bite. Don't know if I'll be here. Don't know if I want to look for flounder. Welcome back y'all. Day three of the Alabama deep sea fishing radio. And we've had just lousy weather. Just got a break in the storm. It's like 1030. We're putting the fish bites dirty bots here on. I'm going to catch some flounder. I'm done with a tournament. I've had 15, 20 trout this three days. And they just all underweight. They can't compete wherever these other trout are coming from. The trout I got are all males, or they've spawned out. So, you know, which is normal for this time of the year, but. Uh, had some reds. All coming right over the limit. Uh, or too small. Had some nice flounder, but none to even attempt to go against the five pound flounder. I don't think so. So we're gonna throw that dirty boxer. We're going with the counter punch because it's a little overcast. A little bit dingy water from the rain. And uh, just gonna have a good time and catch some flounder. Just tired of fishing in the rain. If these trout wouldn't spawn all them eggs, they might have been heavier enough to make an attempt. But no sir. There's frickin' studs. Y'all got another stud flounder. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Swallowed that dirty boxer. Hey, baby, hey. Another one, y'all. About 18 and a half. Ooh. They're bleeding all over me. Go into the box. Jeez. Oh, 
Come on. Oh, jeez. Flounder. He's a goner. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. That hurts. Well, the net's cast. 
good 17 and a half, 18 incher. I'm still looking for that flounder to float up. It was hurt. about to go in the water. Guys, 17 and a half, almost 18. That's gonna make me sick. It already has. That's gonna wrap it up, y'all. Alabama Deep Sea Fishing Radio is in the books for this guy. May have had a flounder that could contend in the top three. I don't know about one or two. That was five pounds. I don't know if this fish was five or not, but it was close. Uh, what can I say? I should have killed it out, let it die, and then waited. But I was pushing time. It's like three hours till the tournament's over. And I do have to drive to Dolphin Island from Baldwin County. So I wanted to see if it was gonna make the cut. And all I know is I seen four sits and splash it went in the water. I even had the scale hooked in its mouth through a hole. And it's still flat ball. That won't happen again. We learned the lesson. We should have never had to learn. But anyway, uh, five good flounder today. They've all been pretty good ones, especially that big one. When I put it on the board, it was a little bit at 22, maybe a little bit over. As soon as I seen it was over 22 or around 22, I got the scales out after I let it sit a minute because. I knew that was a good wire, but who knows? Uh, I appreciate everybody that has subscribed, spread the word, try to get me, my channel to a thousand subs. I'm almost there. Uh, if you like content like that, smash that like button. And uh, I'm try to bring you great footage every time I get out on the water, give it my all produce show fish help y'all with any techniques I can share you know uh, but yeah we'll get to you next week